We continue with the 2022 Heart Baseball Media Days. I'm Stephen Davis. We are joined now by longtime Park University head baseball coach, Kerry Lundy. Coach, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Glad to be here. Great to have you along. How's the preseason going so far? Have you guys been stuck inside a lot here early on? Yes, been, uh, we're inside. We did have uh, two good days. We went out, well, one good day. We decided to go out there and scrimmage a little bit. And then uh, next day it was pretty chilly. And it's kind of sleeting, sleeting rain. So we did a little bit of defense. and got a little bit of work in for about an hour. So it wasn't too bad. Well, Typical you- preseason deal right now. <laughs> exactly. This part of the world, that's, that's what you got to put up with. Well, you guys have your annual trip to Dallas to open the season coming up for some non-conference games and the Dallas Christian tournament. What are you looking to see from your guys early on? Well, not really sure what we'll see when we get out there, because sometimes we don't even get outside. At least we got one practice or two practices out there. Uh, I think we'll I, I really think our team's going to be pretty good. We we're young last year. Uh, I think we're going to we got a pretty good hitting team, and I think uh, we'll be able to pick it. Our infield defense and outfield should be pretty good. All right, take us through the team. Well, let's name some of the names. We'll start on the mound. Who are some pitchers that you're counting on to help you here in 2022? Well, um, Angel LeBron will be back. He had a little uh, arm issue last year. Uh, nothing real serious, but we had to shut him down. Uh, very good left-handed pitcher. Uh, when he, he has the stuff, he can – get to buy some of the better hitters in the conference and stuff like that. But uh, we just didn't have the endurance from him with that arm. It just started getting weak. Um, Kyler Barnett uh, pitched a, uh, a little bit last year for us. He had a real good summer campaign in the summer uh, collegiate band Johnson league. Uh, we're hoping for a, a, a good, a, a, I think you'll have good pitching this year for him. He, uh, he gained that experience and confidence that you need for a young guy. We do have a transfer, Juco transfer, Dash Goldston. I think he's going to be a, a guy that we can count on for quite a few innings. And then when LeBron went down last year, we inserted Dylan Govan into the rotation, and he did a real good job. Had to face uh, Central Methodist and Mid-America and some of those teams. He competed pretty well against them. So I'm looking for some things out of him, too. Flip That's over about where we're at. Our depth could be in question. Um, but, uh, you know, the seven inning games in conference, which is a lot easier than it was in our previous conference. So hopefully we can churn some innings from our starters and patchwork at the last two innings. We'll see. <laughs> Let's flip over to the offensive side and talk about what you got there. It usually seems like your teams are pretty aggressive, like to get after it on the bases. Is that the plan again for this season? That's the plan. That's the, our yearly plan. Our, I don't think our speed guys played very well last year to be quite honest with you uh so our running game didn't quite get uh into play we did swing the bats pretty well for a young team we set the school record in home runs uh we did lose a couple players that had quite a few home runs but we think we recruited a couple guys and we had some in-house that i think could get better in the power department also let's talk about the defense how do you stack up behind the plate on the infield and in the outfield who are the guys with the gloves for the gloves, we, we have a transfer catcher. We have a returning starting catcher, Casey uh, Marichal. He was a sophomore last year. Um, he'll be back. We recruited a pretty pretty high caliber catcher in uh, Ricardo Hernandez. He uh, has a lot of power. He hit 18 home runs in junior college. Um, pretty much gold glove type uh, numbers behind the plate. Uh, infield-wise, we started freshman uh, Davisai Prezero at second base and Alex Rodriguez, gold glove winner in the conference and Honorable mention, all conference guy at third base. And then we recruited a shortstop, came in, uh, Billy Rivera from Indian Hills. So we're pretty, I think we're pretty good on the infield with our first baseman, Bryce Dye, returning. Outfield wise, we have a lot of speed out there. All three of them were sophomores last year. Um, I think the guy to watch would be Trent Turner, our left fielder. He's on the NAI watch list. I think he, for the first time, he was able to play all last year. He transferred in from injury from another school in Arizona. But he has some power and, and uh, can run the bases pretty well. So I think he's going to be the guy to watch on our team this year. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Coach, we're going to wrap things up. Four questions. Get to know you or your program a little better. Are you ready for this? I'll try. All right, here we go. You mentioned the <laughs> Van Johnson League in Kansas City a little bit ago. You were a head coach for many years in that league. What does that league mean to you? Well, it means, means a lot to me because I've been in the league for about 35 years or so. Um, 
I think every time, well, when we can recruit in that league pretty well. Um, I did get burned out a little bit and, and stepped away for about five years, several years ago. And I realized I need to get back into Ban Johnson League to get those recruiting ties again. So I think Ban Johnson is critical for not only for our program, but it's also for uh, critical for our young guys to go in there and play and get experience. So it's, it's a competitive league. Uh, we have a nice complex we're playing at at Creekside and Parkville. They have six uh, turf fields. We play there twice a week during the week and weekends is off because of the tournaments they have in there. It's a good experience for all the college guys. I think Mid America and uh, uh, Mid America and Baker has some players in there, and Central Methodist and Mid America. Yeah, Mid America has got some pretty good players on that. I was Perfect. fortunate to coach two of them: uh, Sandoval, the catcher, All American catcher from Mid America, and Easton Garrett. And both those players are really, really good kids, and enjoyed my time with them. Awesome. All right, for fans who haven't been to your home field there at the Park. You guys have made some improvements over the years. Talk us through your baseball facility and what it looks like now. It's a, I think uh, if you ask most people in the heart of America, they'll say it's the best field in the conference, I, I believe, for a natural surface on campus. Uh, several years ago, we got uh, money from Major League Baseball and the Kansas City Royals, and, and our program raised some money. Uh, 25000 put it in a dirt surface like Royal Stadium. Our outfield and infield grass is, is excellent. Uh, we have a groundskeeper that's really good, Jake Riggs. He actually used to be the pitching coach, and his dad coached the Benedictine for many years. He does our uh, outfield and cuts designs in it like Major League Baseball. It's a beautiful field. Uh, we added a press box and restrooms up there. Uh, capital improvements, if we need to do some things, would be uh, dugouts to finish that out. But that's last on my list. The playing surface was the number one. Then we got the restrooms for the fans and the press box for our sports information people. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot with this next one. As a longtime Kansas City guy, what's your favorite barbecue in Kansas City? Well, it's changed over the years. Uh, Q39 is pretty good, and uh, KC Joe's is pretty good. So that would be the two barbecue places, I would think. Can't go wrong with any of them, really. No, they're, they're all good. All right, then we're wrapping things up, asking every coach in the league the same question. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when we say heart baseball? Tough. <laughs> um, I, you know, that last year was the first year we were in the conference and I played a lot of them uh, over the years in non-con and we've held our own pretty well. And last year it was rude awakening a little bit. Uh, um, we're a young team. Travel wasn't very good because of the COVID issues and stuff and uh, the travel restrictions we had for our institution. Uh, but our young guys gained a lot of experience and I, uh, I think that's going to propel us this year to be, I thought we were competitive. We grinded pretty well. We lost a lot of games though. So we got to improve on that. I think we can, I think we learned a lot last year and I think we got a good ball club coming back. If our pitching can hold up. Coach Lundy, we appreciate the time. Good luck this season. We'll need it. Thank you very much. That's coach Kerry Lundy from Park University.